on the growing scandal in Florence, where the police chief is now accused of misleading a state law enforcement agent about missing taxpayer money. This discovery by 13 Investigates comes just one day after our team reported on secret tapes revealing elected officials were already concerned about his decisions. Chief investigative reporter Chelsea Brinsel explains another major update and our continued pursuit of the truth. Late Thursday afternoon, I received a phone call from Florence's interim city manager saying this CBI investigation issue is not the police chief's fault. But whoever's to blame, let's be very clear on one thing. There is still missing taxpayer money in Florence. Florence, Colorado, population less than 4,000, is grappling with a major scandal that continues to grow by the day. It was March 7th when the council that governs Florence met. At the public meeting, council members directed their police chief, Shane Prickett, to look into missing taxpayer money first uncovered by 13 investigates. I've reached out to the CBI, but they, of course, need to come in at the direction of the police department. So I'd like to ask that you direct our police department to please contact CBI and bring them in to see some of these documentations um, so we can actually see what's wrong. They usually require an internal investigation to give them a direction. Um, so if you have something that I can specifically tell them, then um, I don't know why they wouldn't be able to do that. The loans that of taxpayer money that was not uh, approved by city council and some other things that that Tim has here too also. So if if we could. Absolutely. I'd... I'll get with Tom tomorrow and we'll reach out to them. The directions were clear from Councilman Brian Allen. But the Colorado Bureau of Investigation revealed the 13 investigates that instead Prickett told a CBI agent that he needed assistance investigating the former police chief's 2019 severance package. The CBI says what the chief told them initially did not appear to be criminal in nature. So they didn't take the case. The interim city manager appeared to suggest that what the CBI told us wasn't true when speaking with frustrated Florence taxpayers at a mayor's coffee chat this morning. Chief of Police contacted CBI at the direction of council <clears throat> regarding these wage advances or uh, advances on payroll. CBI determined there was no criminal activity. There was a that was a blow off. Well, period. No question about it. Then we're going to go further than that. Question. I'm just telling you what CBI said. They I said that, that they said that back um, man's money is missing. Well, two thousand, some two thousand dollars. You got two thousand to replace it. Well, I don't. The interim city manager Tom Piltonsgrud says he only directed the chief to call state agents about a severance package issue, and assumed the chief brought up the missing money. The Florence Police Chief has not responded to our request for comment. Chelsea Brensel, thirteen investigates.